Welcome as we begin a new week. And we're reflecting on yesterday's Gospel reading. A passage from chapter 10 of St. Mark's Gospel, verses 42 to 45. Jesus addressed the twelve and he contrasts the leadership styles of the world where rulers impose their will and exert control and what Jesus came to bring with the humble and selfless leadership that he exemplified. The world often quotes greatness with authority, status and influence. But Jesus turns this notion upside down. He teaches that greatness is found in servanthood in the willingness to put others before ourselves. When Jesus states, For the Son of Man did not come to be served but to serve, he reveals his mission and purpose. His life is not about gaining power or recognition. Instead, It is about self-sacrifice and love. This is most profoundly illustrated in his ultimate act of giving, laying down his life as a ransom for many. In this act, he demonstrates that true love involves sacrifice, and that the greatest gift one can offer is oneself. So as we meditate on this passage, we are called, you and I are called, to examine our own lives. Are we seeking to climb the ladder of success and authority Or are we embracing the call to serve? Are we willing to let go of our desire for recognition in favor of meeting the needs of others? Jesus invites you and I to reflect on how we can embody this servant-heartedness in our daily interactions, in our homes with our families, in our community and beyond. In a world that often elevates selfish ambition, the message of yesterday's Gospel from St. Mark is a profound reminder that you and I are called to be agents of change, spreading love and compassion through our service by following the example of Christ. We not only draw closer to him, but also become instruments of his grace his mercy and compassion in our world. Let us pray for the strength and humility to serve others selflessly, embodying the Spirit of Christ in all that we do. May our lives become a reflection of his love, reaching out to those who are in need. And may we find true greatness 
in our willingness to serve. Opening our hearts to the power of his spirit and to bringing his kingdom into our lives, we pray. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and that the hour of our death. Amen. May you have a most blessed and wonderful week as you journey following Jesus in the ways of the servant. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be world without end. Amen.